So today I want to talk about something a little bit different. It's going to be a much easier video to give you my thoughts and ideas, but this is going to be for online marketing trends for the current 2022 year. And overall, I think AI software is going to be one of the biggest uh, trends moving forward, uh, kind of in a way that we had software back, I think it was 2014. That was when ClickFunnels, I believe when ClickFunnels came out. It's not that sales funnel softwares weren't used before that time, but I do believe that Russell Brunson and his, obviously his huge SaaS software, ClickFunnels, really popularized, modernized, and really made sales funnels and landing pages about as sexy as can be. With the huge growth of their company, many, many followers, uh, Many, many other competitors were created. Some were great, some were as great. I think you get the idea, you saw that. And even still today, sales funnels are still popular. They're still going hot. And I think that copywriting software is going to be the same. Aside from the fact, not just copywriting software, I know that I put this term right here. As you can see, it is starting to trend up. It's been probably the best it's ever been since, you know, even before, it's hard to get a, the, uh, was that 32? and 38 so it's the best it's ever been since what 2008 ish okay it's it's definitely on a trend from what you can see here and that's just typing in for that specific uh keyword right there and there's a much better way to say it, which would be AI or just artificial intelligence. So if you're not too familiar with a lot of these copywriting tools, uh, I'll quickly show you some. There is Jasper, in my opinion, which has been one of the biggest and most popular. A lot of people are talking about that. You have Closer's Copy, which is another great one. I think they have a lifetime. They might still have a lifetime offer, depending on when you're watching this. There's copy.ai, there's copysmith, and of course there's writer. Uh, there's so many more, but those are just some of the popular ones I've gotten to use. But what does this mean for you? Like, so this is going to be a big trend, big deal. Maybe I guessed it properly. Maybe a lot of these companies guessed it a lot earlier than I did, right? They created products about it. They're uh, diving into the market. Customers are loving it. But what does this mean for you? Well, a lot of things. First and foremost, I talk about software a lot. I demo it, I review it, I use it, I love it. I think it's a great way to get an edge, you know, compared to a lot of competitors. I can really set yourself apart because you need to look for those little edges that you can get. And anytime that you can utilize a software or a tool that's going to save you time, it's going to save you effort, it's going to save you money, that's a really great way to dive into your niche and beat out a lot of competitors. With that being said, what I've been seeing when it comes to a lot of these content editors, what they allow you to do is to not only create like articles and blog posts, and I'm talking about full blown articles and blog posts, you can pretty much do all of your content marketing, your editing, and of course, even your copywriting. Think about all the marketing that you do with your online business right now. I mean, there's so many ways to do it. Let's just talk about organic first, okay? You have Facebook posts, whether that's going to be on your profile or a Facebook group, right? You also have Instagram. You're creating content. You're engaging with people. You're asking questions. Then you have all these other places where you need descriptions and content, like a YouTube video, an Instagram uh, caption, whatever it's going to be. That's just social media. We know there's a lot of those platforms. You have blogging and articles. Of course, you need a headline. You need an intro. You need an outro, you need the full article, you need meta descriptions, and then you have copywriting as it is. Maybe you want to use the AIDI formula, which is attention, interest, desire, action. What these software tools allow you to do is you enter in about 10% of the work and they do 90% of it. They generate a lot of this great content for you. And a lot of the trends that I've been seeing, these are only going to get better and better because a lot of these, you can't even tell that a machine came up with it. That's the fantastic thing. In fact, I first stumbled upon one of these software tools, which was Jasper, because I saw a headline that specifically said something related to this headline was created by an, uh, a robot or a machine. And I was like, wow, really? Talk about a great hook. If you have never seen anything like that before and you read that, you'd probably stop in your tracks and say like, what? You know, because we're so used to humans doing so much so much of the heavy lifting, so to speak. And that's another thing I want to bring up. It is kind of a controversial thing because when you think about it, it's like, how far can we go with AI? Are these robots really going to be replacing everything that humans do? It's kind of another way to stir the pot. So I feel like they have that effect in there because I know a lot of people out there don't like AI or like AI content generators or copywriting software. They actually think it's a way of cheating. Like it's unfair. Uh, I personally don't believe in that. It's software. It's fair game. You know, anyone can use it. And if you want to get that advantage, I would recommend it myself. You know, I use it myself. These are great tools when it comes to doing a lot of the copywriting. They're especially very helpful to someone who just 
came online. They're passionate about what they have, but they're just not great at selling. They're more of an artist, not so much of a salesperson. So in my opinion, that's going to be one of the biggest trends moving forward. We're already starting to see it. Like I said, this is just for copywriting software, a random term. Uh, overall, you have like AI, AI copywriting software, AI software, uh, and whatever it's going to be, I feel like we're going to be seeing that so much more. I think it's going to get really growing just like sales funnels and landing pages did it. I have a feeling we're going to see many more software software tools when it comes to this. And personally, I'm looking forward to it because I'm always looking to test out new ones to see which benefits are good here, which features are better there, which ones are going to help me more as an online marketer. And because of that, I think that's going to be one of the biggest trends in 2022. And it's probably going to keep going just like sales funnels did back in 2014, in my opinion, when they became the biggest, like when they started to grow and they've been doing that ever since. Okay. So so like I said, kind of a different video. It's my uh, opinion and more of, I think what's going to happen. It's cool because I can put this out there and come back and see, you know, was I correct? Is it still going to be trending? Is it still going to be big? And more so, how long is it going to last? These are questions that the future will certainly answer for us. But until then, uh, think about what copywriting software can do for you. I mean, there's a lot of great benefits. I talked about everything that it can pretty much write content, your Facebook posts, your captions, your YouTube descriptions, your hooks, your full-blown blog posts. You can fire an outsourcer. You can eliminate writer's block, or maybe you have clients. You know, Maybe clients want to use this. You can refer them as an affiliate. There's plenty of different ways to utilize these tools and take advantage of them. So I wouldn't recommend being one of those persons like, oh, that's not fair. They're having AI do the work for them, which is kind of silly if you think about it. That's like someone saying like, oh, that's not fair. They're outsourcing all their content. They're having someone else do it for them. It's kind of like saying that, which I, I find is really silly. But that's my uh, predictions when it comes to the trends, copywriting software, AI software, uh, just overall AI software in general when it comes to creating content is going to be very big and continue to trend in the late future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.